Hello there, Cancer, and welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Welcome back. If you are returning, welcome in. If you are new, thank you for being here. We're going to get some messages looking at your person's energy. We're going to try to dive into their energy today. Let's, let's hope the energies cooperate with me and with us. These are general tarot card messages along with playing cards. So bear in mind that all the messages may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest let it fly. Okay. So I see this person you blocked. And you're so beautiful, Cancer. You're so I feel you're young, you're beautiful. You have um, a youthful uh, vibration. It's so, it's mature, but it's young and youthful. All right, you're very prosperous as well, very fruitful, very creative, very wise, very intuitive. You may have blocked this person from your past. Possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like you had some foresight or insight about something that was off with this connection and you stood in your higher sense of power. You decided to armor up and go in your shell to retreat, to really protect your emotions, your heart, what is divine to you, your mind, your creativity, your creations. You decided to protect your flower, your gifts, your tat, all of what you are, you decided to hold it back from this person. Okay, so you weren't giving because you had some foresight that something was off in this connection. Now, this person is from your past. <clears throat> this person takes something with them with the five of cups energy. <sighs> It feels as if they are your past person, but they may want to come to put themselves ahead in front of you to say they're your future person as well. They may come back around, that's the idea, but coming back around, even though this person may have disappointed you, may have broken your heart, they want to come back around because they, they feel like they've been doing work on themselves but you're still blocking or denying communication. So this person is trying to reach out to you. They're trying to come back around as the King of Cups energy, which is all this is all they think that you need now. They are ready to give it to you. This person is still coming with some energy of not not being independent in thinking or in, in love, the three of cups energy. Still could be tagging along some kind of third party energy, whether this is their child or someone that they 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 love this person. They it's like this person is their right hand that they're taking with them. A fellow cups energy. Because mm, it's as if they want you to accept them with this with this other person. And it could be a son. A child all right but they are coming back as the king of cups tell me more about the king of cups the ace of pentacles and they're coming back with some intention what, what is their intention and it's as if this is their goal their mission to get through to you to collaborate to work with you to get back in your energy I feel like this person feels like you are their soulmate with the Four of Cups energy. They want to be in that uh, frequency of you guys communicating again and things flowing. You guys are now speaking. That's their intention. What is the Ace of Cups energy? Uh, it's like returning to the goal. Ace of Cups energy. Focusing on coming in 
to you i feel they see you ace of cups ace of, ace of pentacles energy hmm. ace of pentacles Okay, so they see they're putting things in place to come back to you. This person could be blocking connections. What is the King of Swords? Certain friendships and ties from the past. They could be blocking this person. And I feel I hear the word idle. Some idle connections. Your person may have really changed, wanting to come back around to you. It's kind of hard to tell with the Three of Cups energy. I'm also seeing another person here, which could also be you. The Queen of Pentacles represented again. This person wants to do away with certain energies. They want to, as if I feel like they're trying hard to block or discard connections from their past certain habits ideas low vibrations they're really really trying to they're for they and i'm saying they have been putting in the work blocking certain connections for example if this person was very flirtatious and not very committed i feel like they've been really focusing meditating meditation Holding their own space, blocking connections, being adamant, tapping into their faith energy also to really block certain energies, certain people. And I feel it's a lot of people and situations. What is the eight of wands? See, a lot of affiliations, a lot of emotional connections. So this is not easy, What the work that they're doing, this person. But they're learning how to align with their intuition. They never used to listen to their intuition before. I feel like they were always out to please others, make other people happy, not listening to their intuition. And now them, they're realizing their true power is listening, to, is following your intuition, doing what's right for you, listening to your voice. They're having a new beginning, I feel, this person. A new beginning because they're aligning with their sense of intuition, tapping into their emotion. It's like this person denied their intuition all along because they tried to people please. They wanted to appear as being all and being able to to be there for everyone. Which was so it was to me low vibrational because they were doing themselves a disservice. They were trying to put themselves out there in so many different ways for so many different people like just because they wanted to feel adequate while denying other connections that they had which were true I feel like now this person only sees what they want and I do believe what they want is you to have union with you or to have something new they're ready to release their past this person could be even ready to release you as well, if that's what it comes to, because they're healing. They're taking their time to heal. I hear it is not an easy road, getting there. It's not an easy road. And especially because you are being so hard on this person, you're blocking or denying any connection, any form of communication. You have your guard up. But I feel like this person's, you, look, they're, they're thinking about you consistently. It's like every beat of their heart is you. That's how I feel. A lot, uh, many things remind this person of you. Their even their own heart, the the aliveness they feel when their heart thumps, doo -doo, that they remember you. I don't know if it makes them feel sad. It makes them feel like they want to come back around to you. It's as if you, some love that you've given onto this person's own heart. It, 
is feeding their hearts you you gave this person a lot of love and attention and affection just being you just being you you were this light and they hear a temple a temple and they see this this person tried to to be to be there for you but they weren't emotion as emotionally connected to their heart as you are so they try to just shine in your light to um, shine in your glory in your beauty they enjoyed being in your presence but they weren't emotionally letting you in they were ex they were more superficial their focus they love your beauty your nurturing hearts your love but they're, they weren't really connecting with you on a soul level. They weren't allowing that to happen. Because this person is also closed off from their heart. They see you as being some sort of a prized possession. Maybe because of your, your beauty. And they didn't... It's like this person did not expect that you come with so much soul so much soul that they have to get to know as well and now that something has ended i feel storm i feel thunder and lightning clapping of lightning something ended drastically and you are blocking this is the energy you're in is you are blocking this mf -er. You're standing, you're not letting this person come back in. They did hurt you. You know, they betrayed you. They broke your heart. And they didn't expect you to to, 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 uh, to ascend into, or to, to go into. They didn't know that you did ascend into your defense system. They didn't bargain for how you could block them so easily. Or the storms that you could rage. They didn't see that. This is, this is what they saw. The Queen of Cups. Your beauty. Your delicacy. Your, your nurturing abilities. Your ability to heal. To whisper. To heal with your words and your love. And it's like. When you're, in, when you're blocking. It makes you appear even more attractive. Because you are on fire. It feels like. When you're protecting your own. It makes you look and appear much more powerful. And maybe that's what's causing this person to feel like, oh, I'm going to have to level up to get back to you. For them, it's I feel it's it's a challenge. They see it as a challenge to this person is they're they're still superficial. And this going in their heart space to come back to you, it's sort of a challenge, something they want to be victorious at getting back to you right because i do feel like this this individual who is possibly an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i see all are all, all sorts of signs out here this person they they are they're not connected to their hearts that's how i feel but somehow their heart is connected to you. But they, it's like their mind is not allowing them, their ego, to really accept this connection for what it is. Even though it is their heart that's pulling them to you and making them want to do the right thing. They're still stuck in their ego. They're not sinking into their heart space. This person sees you as a star, a medallion, a treasure, one of a kind, very unique. One to keep, one to chase, one to have. Maybe that's why they're changing for you or wanting to change. They want to be a part of your life. They want to be close to you. You could be dealing with multiple people. Multiple. We see here. We see a fellow water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We see air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
but I do feel like the air sign is more of an energy the energy of blocking of being defiant of having willpower of going after what you want of standing up of having your boundaries of forming your identities of having foundation and stability it's also the energy of focus intention so a lot of intention is said whether intention to reconnect or in intention to block and there's an intention that someone has that is in their own heart space to, to reach out to you it's like a prayer a wish and they're it's, this person is in denial about how they feel why is this this person caught up in ego why is this person caught up in ego <laughs> see they it's as if they're afraid to express themselves because they're afraid to just be vulnerable. They hide away from vulnerability. Maybe they've had a bad experience. More than likely, you know, this person had a bad experience and needs to heal that. That's what they're working on healing now. Hmm. Oh, this person possibly has an issue with a parent. If it is a male, this person has an issue with their father. If it's a female, they have an issue with their mother. I do feel like if it is a male, it's also an issue with their mother. And that's why I feel, because you're Cancerian, I feel like this person is attracted to your caring nature. So your ability to care for them, to love them, to look out for them. To, to hold them in your energy as if they are your child. They want to know that you care about them. And I feel like that's something that they need to heal. And they may not realize that they are who they, what they are because they need to heal. They just think it's, this is how I am. I just, this person has attachment issues as well attachment issues they don't realize they're chasing after this connection because they they want this love and attention they want you to look at them they want your attention like it's that energy of a child wanting the their mother to just acknowledge their presence there to be held in their mother's view good wishes and good graces I do feel like you have the ability to heal this person if you wish to, Cancerian. You have the words to speak, the heart to heal. It's as if this person is chasing after you to be healed. And I don't know why <laughs> you're not healing them at all. This could be sexual healing too. This could be that's what's developing here. This chase. Maybe they're... Who knows? But they want healing when it comes to love and affection and attention and validation. And that's why they go out of their way to people, please. And that's why they're not investing in a soulful connection because they need to heal within themselves first. It's a beautiful, like, a lot of things going on for this person. Okay? And they have the potential, that's why you were aligned with them. But I do feel like they weren't moving as quickly as you. We have earth sign, water sign again here. When it comes to healing and leveling up and collaboration and collaborating energies, all these things, they weren't ready for that. They weren't ready to move forward. They were focusing on money, I feel. Feeling good externally, looking good externally. <clears throat> Give me another message for this person. This person has a spirit about them though. It's an essence that they bring. 
that you see, you see this. Could be some, uh, from a loved one that passed away. I feel like this person feels lost because they lost someone. It's you know it's as if you you and this person are the only kind in this world. This is the only person that may have cared for you or or liked you or showed interest in loving you. Or this in this your person and then this person possibly died and now they feel like they're alone they are alone there's no one left in the world that cares for real they've never experienced it from anyone I feel except but you know they're emotionally connected to you because of this you could have been a past life connection with this person too there's something about some some past life connection that that's why you both of you came together. It feels like it was meant to be beautiful. They were to see you and um like float into your your vibration easily. Maybe this is how you met. It just like this person floated in your space as if in a tr by a trance they had to come up to you and you were there you felt them but you you are meant to be here as well and this I feel like this was a possibly I hear a karmic lesson for you to learn something great and powerful this person came to heal something about wishes their wishes and then you were here maybe to heal or to grow to heal you or to heal them or to grow there's something that was supposed to solidify for you you were standing in the right place when an energy came as if you were told to walk down this road, something marvelous is going to happen. I feel at this time in your life, Cancer, you were alone too. You were alone. You know, you were um, searching. You were looking for something. You were looking out for something and it came... In maybe in the form of this person that is the alignment maybe both of you lost suffered a loss but it's something that hurts that brought you to vibrationally in the same space this person heard it or this person was brought here through some whisper of a spirit energy possibly from the both of you from an a presence that is angelic and this, 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 this situation was literally up to the both of you. Was do or die. The only, I feel the only thing that was really divine was the meeting. And then the rest was up to you how it unfolded. Is there another chance? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. I feel like moving on, let bygones be bygones, bid each other well. If this person does come back around to you, there's something that's making you sad as well, Cancerian. Maybe you see something in this person that, well, we see that. There's something that you saw in this person that you were attracted to, and it was there. They embodied a higher vibration, a higher calling, a higher energy of wealth and confidence that you could see. I feel like you could watch over. You feel in yourself that like you could watch this person prosper and become 
so abundant in all areas of their life you feel like you could have just you could see, envision, or visualize this person becoming this. They had that beautiful potential to become, and I feel they still do, right? They still do. You see this person, I, f I feel you saw this person as um, someone, a mate, like a soulmate, someone you could work with. That's the energy, all right? <laughs> they want to come back into you. They feel like they they were healing. I feel like if you do communicate, just listen to their tone of voice, how they're speaking, to see what level of healing they've done. You are still blocking, you are still energy, you are in cancers. You are still hurt, you are still feeling betrayed and sad. You, I feel like you, have, you want to have nothing to do with this person. All right? You want to move on, to flourish. You really want to disconnect, you wish you could. Maybe never see them again, kind of energy. You're really hurt. Sometimes you want to cry. And you're angry as well, Cancel, for what this person do has done. Now they've, they're claiming that they've worked on themselves here, which looks about right. Because they have the, they can do that. You that, the powerful thing is that you hold this person in such high regard that they become. You know that's the energy. <clears throat> they become. That's your power too. So you're you're able to behold someone in your vision. Till they become. I wonder if you're able to do it for your own self. Because you're still very much focused here. I see three people. I see three energies. Fire, water, earth. And all three of them want to make their way to you. The earth sign they're closest to your energy space right now the water sign feels like this person is i hear destined to past life soulmate the fire sign i feel possibly has the least opportunity because they're not reaching you i feel but this person is very sneaky and tricky you know this person knows magic like manipulation how to get through wheel their way into your energy I do feel the one you are most attracted to is water maybe because this person looks healed and feels healed and feels possibly like your soulmate this person possibly what is the Three of Cups energy? This is a Jack of Love. <clears throat> a Sun. Maybe this person feels like you are their soulmate. Maybe you are the one that hurt this person. This person caused this person some pain. But this pain also caused this person to level up financially. 
and in a sense of value and so forth. I feel like this person cried over something that they lost because someone else intervened, possibly a fire sign. Now I feel like this King of Hearts could could be representing the King of Pentacles, who's leveled the King of Hearts, leveling up financially, wanting to feel ready for you. What is that energy, please? They want to get into your heart space. They know that there's um. <laughs> They know that there are booby traps getting into this temple. I do, I'm still feeling the energy of a temple. You are a god or a goddess. Or something. This one is up to the challenge. They are ready to come in, to come after your heart. They feel like they have what it takes to heal your heart, as if they think they're coming to the with the antidote. Because they're in this temple or this tower or whatever, blocking, and they feel poison as well from a snake. Someone may have poisoned your mind, your feelings, your emotions, caused you to be in hate or revenge or just not receiving love. This king thinks that they have the antidote look the eight of pentacles is the antidote that they have to come in and heal your heart <clears throat> you know why it's because this person sees you in your most natural state and they remember that you guys have known each other for a long time this person knew you a long time this person could be older than you and they remember you as you are know they're coming back like this person went and they got wealthy they have what it takes I mean like wealthy meaning wealthy with money wealthy in vibration wealthy in confidence especially and they say that you've been through a lot cancer they say that maybe you've moved it's Either you moved on or you're moving into your well-being or are you relocated. This person may have hesitated to come toward you because they see that you're still hurt and in your mode of blocking. Protecting your heart. So you're not giving, you're not sharing your emotions now. But you're... You are focusing on fulfilling your dreams you're being very creative at this point mm -hmm. you're focusing on using your gifts your creativity to manifest you're manifesting a lot of things including wealth when this person sees you you look attractive they're trying to contain themselves because they want to come to you correct They realize that they're walking on eggshells or that this is a very delicate situation and they have to handle with care. They feel like if they want this to work, they have one chance. Because you could be like a, a bomb ready to explode, but they're coming in. They want to de disarm you. Mm-hmm. They want this root. The five of cups. What is the five of hearts energy? Five of 
Five of Hearts energy. Pain. Suspicion. They want to replace it with happiness, visions, success. They want to create something new. So moving from the Five of Hearts to the Ten. They want you to be more free, to release, to be open. They want you to be released. This person wants to set you free. I don't know why they feel like set you free from holding on to resentment. How does this person? Oh, how does this person plan on setting cancer free, releasing cancer? Oh my gosh. There are barely any cards left. They want to repay you. They want forgiveness. They want to help you to forgive. To learn how to release. And they don't... This person don't want you to be hurting. They want you to be loved. So they want... Maybe when they're coming to you, it's to apologize. So that you can find the space to forgive and to release. And then if by chance they can get your heart, that would be nice too. They want you to smile at them again. That's how I feel. They want to see you smile. They want to hear you sing. They want to feel you release. They want to feel you open, not stuck, not hurt, not in trauma, not, not, they don't want to leave you with scars. They want to, you want to be open to receiving, to live your life, to be fruitful, to be creative, to mature, to grow, to prosper, to blossom. They want you to heal. They want, they want your heart to heal. Okay. We have four kings, all four kings, and all four queens out here. And the ace we have is ace of hearts, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. And we're leaving these messages here. I hope they resonate with you and is able to help you along your journey. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming through. Remember to hit the like button if you find these messages inspiring. Share the video with those you love. And hit the subscribe button. Welcome in. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for your show of support. And I will continue to upload these beautiful readings for you. Cancerian, is there anything else? All right, no, we're leaving it there. Thank you. Remember that all is within you. Much love. Take care. Until next time.